How to create QR codes in Canva for free for beginners 2022. Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing day. Yes, I bring you back with yet another Canva tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can create your very own QR code using Canva and its free tools and features. Now, what is a QR code? QR code is basically a binary or let's say a Morse type of code that only a certain uh, machine language or an assembly of languages understand through a device or a technological reference. And um, QR codes can be used uh, as some secure or private key that you don't want others to understand very easily. And QR codes can only be scanned using mobile phones or proper QR code scanners. And they're just amazing. You can place them on any poster you like. And if someone just goes ahead and scans that, they're directly going to be redirected to the link or photo that you want to portray using that QR code. So it's really amazing if you're starting a business or if you're uh, proposing an event, whatever. Uh, you can use QR code to promote everything and anything you like. So uh, I'm just going to take you through it all. It's going to be very simple and very easy. I just want you to follow all of my steps till the end and I'm going to guide you through it all. And by the end, you're going to know how to properly make a QR code and for free on Canva. So without further ado, let's get right in. What we're going to want to do is obviously go to Canva.com. Now, once we're on Canva.com, what I want you to do is to properly learn how Canva really works. I'm going to show you the small basics of it over here, but I just want you to properly know the main advanced outlay and the interface. And for that, there's a video on my channel that I have given a proper description on how to use Canva and how all of these ribbons and taskbars work. So make sure to check that out. Like I've told in detail what design spotlight, you can make logos, flyers, what the business features do, what happens in education, I've discussed the different plans and pricings. Like there's the free plan, the pro plan, the team plan, what's the difference in features and prices. You can learn whatever you like in the learn section, what these all do. I've explained it all. So please go and check it out. And once you're familiarized with how Canva really works, then we're going to get into how we can create our QR code. Now, first of all, we're just going to go ahead and create a normal QR code. We're going to go to placing it on uh, other uh, posters or banners later. So first of all, just make a QR code. Now for that, you can either go and create a design and start making it. I'm going to show you that as well. Or you can just go on search your content. And over here, you can just write QR code. Now what's going to happen? is it will give you a template for a QR code business card, but we just want to make a normal QR code right now. So just go and create a design, keep a custom size. Uh, I recommend just keep it 500 by 500. And then we're going to click on create new design. It's going to take us to this new tab where it's going to give us our very own blank canvas. And over here we can work with whatever we want. So now I'm going to show you the simplest way you can make your very own QR code. So if you don't see the QR code in the left panel bar, I can because I've uh, enabled it. But if you don't, you're just going to go on the bottom on the left taskbar. You're going to click on more and here in create something new, you're going to find QR code right next to draw beta character builder bitmoji and text to image. So you're just going to click on that. And what that's going to do is it's going to add it to your taskbar right here. Now you're just going to get start it right away. So you're going to enter the URL for your website. For example, I'm going to enter the URL for a certain YouTube video. So let's say I want to enter it for this video, this Sidemen video. Uh, I'm just going to go and click on the link and we're just going to go back here. We're going to paste it. And once we paste it, we're going to go on customize. That depends if you want to customize your QR code. I personally think it just looks better in black and white. You can change it, though, if you want to. I wouldn't recommend that. Just keep it black and white because that's just the classic QR code look. So now you can also mess with the margins if you want to make it look bigger, smaller, or whatever. I think two is the best margin. Make sure your link is correct. And then you're going to click on generate QR code. 
Now look at that. It has perfectly generated the QR code we asked it to. And what you're going to do is you're just going to stretch it out to the canvas to make it look like a proper sticker. Now what you're going to do is just going to go and click on share. You're going to click on download. You're going to obviously click on PNG and then you're going to click on download. And what will that what that will do is it will download a proper PNG of the QR code you just generated. And now as for an example, what you can do is you can bring your mobile phone even right now, you can bring your mobile phone and uh, you can uh, download a QR code scanner on it. And if you scan this QR code right now that you see in front of your screens, you're going to be redirected to that Sideman video I just showed you all. So yeah, that's the basic of how you can create a QR code. Now you can just go ahead. I'm just going to give you some small examples of how you can place it on different things you'd like. So for example, I'm going to open this and I'm going to open this. Now, these are different designs I've made in the past, uh, and like these are for marketing purposes, obviously. So uh, let's say I want to leave a link on this or a QR code on this that can help people follow my product better. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag the QR code I just created right onto my uploads. And there it is. And I'm just going to click on that and I'm going to fit it inside my photo and I'm going to see where it just looks better make it a bit smaller you don't need to keep it that big and don't worry about the size like uh the qr code scanner can scan you with small size that it does not matter so i'm just going to put it right there and what the people are going to do is once they see my brochure or poster for my brand of these shoes uh, they're going to scan this and they're going to get redirected. So obviously right now I have the YouTube video, but I can redirect them to a link to my website or it could be a certain link to some kind of discount I'm giving off for these shoes that attracts more people towards the brand. So yeah, that's one way to use it. And for example, if you want to promote your YouTube channel, uh, you can again upload it over here. You can go right here make it into an adjustable size, make sure to put it somewhere where it doesn't look too much. And yeah, then what people are going to do is once they see your banner, they're going to see everything. They're going to scan the QR code. And what that will do is it will redirect them to whatever link you've put in. You can put in your channel, your social media handle, whatever you'd like. And yeah, that's basically how easy it is to make and use a QR code for free using Canva. And you may have noticed that this was totally free and it was so simple, easy, safe and efficient. So, yeah, I'd recommend you start using Canva right away. Uh, but that was pretty much it. Uh, if you want to ask me any questions or queries related to this video, you can let me know down in the comments and I'll answer your questions as soon as I can. And if you want to see more videos like this related to Canva, you can let me know that as well. And uh, I'll make you more videos related to Canva. But yeah, until then, like the video and subscribe to the channel because it helps me out a lot. And uh, share this video with uh, anyone who needs help regarding Canva. And uh, yeah, leave a nice comment if you like the video. But until then, I hope you all keep having an amazing day. That's all from me and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.